Hey, what's happening, everybody? Dano here again. In my first video, I made a mention about uh, I had read somewhere that you're not supposed to carry your mount out fully assembled, and I've recently found out the reason why. I've uh, got some backlash in the RA axis, and I'm assuming it's because I can, I've been carrying it outside with the counterweight attached. As you can see here, I've got some play in the RA axis. The RA axis screw is tightened all the way down, and I have a little bit of play in it. It's about a quarter of an inch or so. But in my last video, uh, when I was doing my guiding calibration, uh, something popped up that I had never seen before, and it said that it was something about uh, abnormally different uh, calibration or something. And that's probably what the cause was, is this play, because I had several subs that had very bad star trails, and I had to toss them. I dug out the manual to see, you know, if this uh, carrying it out fully assembled was mentioned in here, and it is mentioned under the optional tripod extension. It says, do not transport the Star Adventure GTI fully assembled. So that's probably what it's caused this. So from now on, I'm going to have to take the counterweight shaft off when I'm transporting, which that's not a, that's not a big deal, but something else I'll have to make a trip for is to carry the counterweight. Uh, there's a big thread on Cloudy Nights about the Star Adventure GTI, and um, somebody had received their copy, and it had play like this right here. I thought about sending it in to Skywatcher to see if they could fix the Poloscope Illuminator. I have the field of view is just red. Um, I did go into the Skywatcher SenseScan app last time I looked through the Poloscope and made sure that it was set to one. I don't know if when you power the mount on, it may set it to five or 10 as default. I'm not sure, but I did open up the app and set it back down to one and it, I was able to see Polaris uh, okay. It's not it's not as good as the Skygatter Pro's um, reticle, but I, I was able to polar align with it. I had a comment from Barbara, I think it was. She mentioned that she sent her GTI uh, into Skywatcher. I was going to send this in the Sky Watcher and have them take a look at the Poloscope Illuminator and also maybe fix this play in the RA axis. But they sent her hers back and, and they said that they could not replicate the issue, so they didn't fix it. So now I'm thinking I have to take matters into my own hands. I may be about to avoid my warranty by doing this myself, but I'm going to attempt to fix this RA play uh this backlash and i'm going to see if i can tighten these gears up myself so please don't let me screw this up So when I found that thread on cloudy nights, uh, the first thing I did after reading it, and this happened the other night, I felt this play, was I ordered uh, this um, hex head set. Uh, I believe they said you'll need a two millimeter hex head screw to do this. So I ordered this off of Amazon. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is take the counterweight and the counterweight bar off. So yeah, you can see there, it's, it's uh, got a lot of play in it. Not good, not good. So I'm gonna take the counterweight shaft off. Uh, what I'm going to have to do here is probably tilt the mount back so I can get to the access screw hole. So I'm going to uh, loosen the latitude adjustment bolts here and 
I'm going to tilt it back. I'm going to uh, open these up and I'll need the two millimeter hex head screw. I'm going to pierce this hole. Actually, I'm just going to peel it off and maybe I can stick it back on. How about that? How about that? I just peeled it off and I'll just stick it back on there. Cool. I was going to pierce it. So now I'm going to take this two millimeter hex head and I'm going to slide it. Oh, I need a, I need a light or something. Okay, I see it. So I found the um, the hole there, and I'm just what I'm going to do is turn it just very slightly and see if I can get that play out of there. A little better. Oh man, finding this thing. I guess you just slide it up against that. There it is. Something just popped there. Something. It's not good. Okay. I'm just making very small adjustments. Messing with the play. And that did it, I think. Yep, that did it. That took the play out. Now I'm going to loosen the right ascension screw. Okay, and that's tight like it was when I first received it. That's pretty daggum tight. I don't know if that's... And there still is a little bit of click in there. I can hear it when I turn it. But that's very, very tight. So I may back that off just a little bit. And this thing is hard. Okay, here we go. Sorry for the shaking. I'm on this loose table, so it's shaking a little bit. Sorry about that. That's a little a little better but that is still pretty tight and it's still got some of that play in there i really don't want to take this face plate off i hope it doesn't come to that but i'm going to see it's going to be a while before we get to have another clear night and i'm going to see if this did the trick uh, another thing i tested here was uh i put the counterweight shaft back on and uh move the mount to a different position and then tighten the right ascension screw back down and i tightened it just a little bit more to see and i got rid of the play and um so that's something you could probably do if it's sitting in the home position you may have a little play there so you could just try different uh, different positions and tighten it back down. So there's a little bit there. So I'll go in and just tighten it just a small turn. 
And man, this thing is a pain to get into, but there it goes. Just a small turn here. And that got rid of that. So now I'll loosen it back up. Go back to the home position. And that's my table moving. That got rid of all the play. So that's that's it. That's your fix. This little dude right here. Take this patent sticker off. The access hole is right there. And now I'm going to just slap it back on. I'm glad I didn't pierce it. I was going to pierce the hole through it because that's what the guy did on cloudy nights. I just took the sticker off and it's easy. And I'm just going to slap it back on there. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Cool. That's it. Everything's tight. The play is gone. And uh, from now on, uh, <coughs> I will not be carrying the counterweight uh, on the mount and the tripod. I'll just take this. could probably get by with just the counterweight bar on. I don't think that'll hurt it. As long as I don't bump the doorway or anything like that. But yeah, that'll... That should take that stress off. I, I believe that's why they say not to transport it fully assembled because that counterweight without uh, your scope and setup, without your scope set up on the top is that's it just created that play. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe uh, for more videos. I'll, I'll do a, a short update when I get this thing running again and, and test the uh, guiding calibration. So yeah, if you, if you could uh, like, share, subscribe, and uh, clear skies, everybody.